Can we start? All right. Colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Uh, my name is Denny Willy, uh, Executive Secretary for Community Services. I am here on behalf of the Director of the Institute of Research and Community Services, uh, LPPM ITB. To our honorable guest today, Professor Kazuna, Kazunari Yoshizawa, yes. Director of Institute for Materials, Chemistry and Engineering from Kyushu University. Uh, Your Excellency, Prof. Reni Wirahadi Kusuma, uh, Rector of ITB and Dr. Irwan Melano, moderator for the talk. Again, we are grateful to have Prof. Yoshizawa to join us. Yes. We are currently holding the discussion series on excellent research culture, volume two, with the topic research culture, Japan way, which I believe this is a topic in which we should all be enthusiastically interested since there are quite a number of graduates from Japan here at ITB, including other universities in Indonesia. All right then, may this afternoon brings a lot of fruitful discussion. And without further ado, I would like to ask Prof. Reni to give the opening speech. Time is yours, Bu Rektor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Terima kasih banyak, Mas Denny. Uh, selamat siang. Uh, good afternoon in Japan. Yes. Uh, what time is it, Professor Ryuzi? Uh, Three o'clock. <laughs> Three o'clock. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's about a, a very good time for uh, uh, talking then. Uh, yes. So yeah, to our um, uh, esteemed guest today, uh, Professor Kazunari Yoshizawa. Welcome. Uh, he is the director of Institute for Materials Chemistry and Engineering uh, from Kyushu University. And also uh, together with us, Bapak Hermawan Dipoyono, Pak Irwan, Mas Satria, Pak Joko, dan semua our colleagues. Uh, thank you. Uh, Alhamdulillah, kita sehat. Ya. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, Professor Yoshizawa, uh, I understand you know a little bit about ITB. Uh, let me introduce uh, more about the updates. Uh, my name is Reini Wiradi Kusuma. Uh, I will be managing ITB for the next four more years. So, it is a five-year assignment starting January of uh, 2020 last year. Uh, one of our uh, strategic issue is uh, building or maybe more appropriately uh, reviving our research culture. Mm. So is this, uh, research is not about publication or uh, incentive, or, but it's about culture. So at ITB, we do have long-standing good research culture, but we would like to revive it to make it stronger uh, and better impacts. So ITB uh, will be 101 year this July. So uh, we would like to continue our uh, good tradition. Uh, so we would like to hear from esteemed uh, professor researchers from uh, many developed countries such as yourself. Uh, just yesterday, we listened to um, our uh, friends from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. They shared uh, their uh, culture uh, regarding uh, university management and hiring, recruiting, etc., in order to uh, maintain uh, excellent uh, research. Uh, of course, MIT and Kyushu University uh, completely different from ITB. 
every university has its own characteristics, its own vision, values, but uh, to some extent, we do have the same mission for uh, humanity and uh, uh, national development. So uh, we would like to hear about your own experiences and probably you could give us a few tips on uh, improving ITB's culture, uh, especially um, from Japanese uh, point of view. Uh, I understand you've met uh, many Indonesian students uh, at Kyushu, or I understand you, you, you use, yes. used to spend your career in Kyoto also. Yeah, so uh, you know us uh, pretty much. So please uh, give us uh, some tips on um, our efforts. Uh, like uh, said, uh, the, that was said by Pa Denny Willie earlier, we have so many um, uh, full-time faculty uh, graduated from uh, Japan, Japan universities and our alumni also so many uh, study post-graduate uh, in Japan. So, and they come back and they perform very well. So it must be from good influence atmosphere academic from uh, Japanese universities. Uh, so we would like to maybe copy some of your, uh, your uh, uh, culture. Uh, we, we, we are happy about the quality of our uh, publication and research in general, but uh, we are still concerned about the impacts. So uh, that it's still uh, our uh, main um, goals, yeah, to improve our impacts for national development. And we understand the network, uh, research network, is our greatest asset. So thank you for uh, responding to our invitation uh, for uh, maintaining our uh, friendship and network. So uh, let's hear from Professor Yoshizawa and then learn uh, from him again uh, on behalf of uh, my friends and colleagues at Institute Teknologi Bandung we welcome you and thank you very much wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam thank you very much professor reni for the welcoming i will pass this opportunity to dr irwan melano to moderate the talk time is yours irwan uh, thank you dr deni uh, thank you uh, Professor Reni, Professor Hermawan, and of course, I would like to thanks to Professor Kazunari Yoshizawa, and also good day everyone. I'm Irwan Melano, and for the next one hours, I will become a moderator for this series of discussions. Uh, a report published by Knowledge Sector Initiative in collaborations with Ministry of Research and Indonesian Academy of Sciences, or AIP, in 2017, they found that in Indonesia, maybe not in ITB, they found that not all academics are interested in doing research. Some actively prefer teachings and community engagement projects. And for those who are motivated to do research, they have to face several challenges. Uh, they have to face uh, the challenge that uh, often the challenge seems to outweigh the gains. And some of them are excessive. Uh, they, they have to face excessive regulations. They have to face dominance of seniority of her merits and enthusiasm, or Indonesia, we call it consecutive bins or urut kacang, or in Japanese, senpai kohai relations in research. And some of them have to face also insufficient intellectual freedoms and disproportionate administrative burdens. 
So, Professor, uh, in these webinars, you want to learn about the research cultures in, in Japan. Uh, Professor Yoshizawa has long experience as a lecturer, researchers, and directors of research institute at uh, Kyushu University. He completed his doctoral studies from Kyoto Universities in 1992. And in 2001, he became professor at the Institute for Fundamental Research of Organic Chemistry at Kyushu University. And in 2020, Professor Yoshizawa became an honorary professor at ITB. So mm -hmm. Professor mm -hmm. Yoshizawa is a member of our family. <laughs> Welcome home, professors. Thank you. <laughs> and without further ado, allow me to present a keynote, keynote speakers, uh, a keynote talks by Professor Kazunori Yoshizawa. Please, professors. Yes, thank you very much for your kind of introduction. And uh, uh, I, I uh, thank you very much for, for your participant. Thank you very much. So, so can I use my slide? Please, Professor. Hmm. Can you can you see my slide? Yes. Yes, you can yes. see clearly. Yeah. Thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, I would like to talk about uh, research culture, Japan way, but uh, uh, I cannot talk uh, about uh, this kind of things. Uh, I'm not, uh, uh, so, so I, my talk is based on my experience. So I cannot uh, do a general uh, uh, talk for this subject. So I'm sorry, uh, this is my uh, experience. So uh, I, I'm uh, director of the Institute for Materials Chemistry and Engineering, but uh, I think Japanese Institute is not so big. Uh, your Institute is a university but our institute has 50 researchers. So the relatively small. So I'm a, a, <laughs> a cyclist and uh, I'm a, a, a director of the cycling team of Kyushu University. <laughs> so this is good for the health. And uh, this is my self-introduction. <clears throat> I graduated from Kyoto University uh, with uh, Professor Kenichi Fukui, who is uh, the first uh, Nobel Prize uh, in chemistry in Japan, and completed uh, graduate school of engineering uh, Kyoto University. Uh, and uh, uh, I, entered a company. Uh, this is uh, uh, Nippon Kokan Steel Making Company, so researcher at the central laboratory of this uh, company. And I quit this uh, company and again came back to uh, Kyoto University and received a PhD degree from uh, Professor Tokio Yamabe, who, who succeeded Professor Fukui's laboratory. And uh, after uh, PhD degree, I visited uh, Cornell University and uh, Professor Hoffman, uh, who, who, who who is uh, uh, the uh, Nobel Prize uh, uh, winner shared with uh, Professor Kenichi Fukui. So my teachers uh, uh, 
uh, two Nobel Prize winners. And after that, uh, I became assistant and associate professor at Kyoto. And 2001, and I, I became a Kyushu University professor. Uh, I'm now uh, associate editor of New Journal of Chemistry. Uh, this is Royal Society of Chemistry. So please submit your <coughs> good papers to this, this journal. <coughs> I will reasonably handle your papers. So I, I, I accept <laughs> your papers. So please submit your papers. So this is uh, <laughs> my good good memory, and uh, I, I I I I made a speech, <laughs> but uh, uh, no, no, I I'm I ashamed. Like so, so. <laughs> my name is uh, Azumi Yoshizawa from Kyushu University. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. So I'm here. Uh, in Fukuoka, the, the west part of Japan. This is Tokyo and uh, the Osaka, and uh, this is Kyushu Island, and uh, this is Fukuoka. So you are here, this is Bandung, uh, this is here, and Fukuoka uh, is here. And uh, I think uh, uh, we change airplanes in Singapore. I think Singapore airline is very useful uh, to visit uh, Bandung. <clears throat> and Fukuoka is uh, a very nice seaside city and uh, it's a beautiful island. And uh, this is Dome, a uh, baseball uh, field is here and Fukuoka tower is here. And Fukuoka is a, a very historical city uh, because uh, uh, Fukuoka is close to Korea and China. And this is uh, the gate uh, from uh, uh, gate uh, for the culture coming from uh, China and Korea. So, so the, the Fukuoka was very important places in history. So, so this is a, a nice shrine. <laughs> and uh, foods and drinks are very nice in Fukuoka. This is sushi and this is a uh, fish, uh, poisonous fish, you, you know, fugu. And you cannot drink these things. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> These are very good uh, Japanese uh, sake. And this is ramen, uh, noodle. But uh, this soup uh, is prepared from pork, so you cannot <laughs> eat these things. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> so Kyushu University is moving to new campus. This is new campus. And uh, this is old campus uh, located in the downtown Fukuoka. So I, I love uh, old campus. Uh, I don't like new campus. This is <laughs> uh, far from the old campus, downtown uh, old campus. So my uh, talk, uh, today's talk is uh, uh, about my academic life and uh, Japanese educational system, uh, Japanese translation culture. We, we have many, many books translated from uh, English book. So uh, I, I won't talk about this translation culture. And uh, finally, uh, Japanese laboratory system. So my academic life, uh, I'm com computational quantum chemist and uh, my field is applied quantum chemistry. 
and uh, quantum chemistry is based on uh, Schrodinger equation. And these are Nobel Prize winners, Pauling, uh, Mariken, Fukui, and Hoffman. These are my teachers. And these are Korn and Popel. Uh, th this is uh, a developer of density functional theory and uh, Gaussian program. They, they contributed to the development of method. And uh, uh, recently, three people uh, received Nobel Prize. Uh, they applied uh, this kind of quantum chemistry to very large complex systems, including uh, this kind of enzyme. So oh, this area is expanding very quickly. And uh, uh, my work is based on this uh, quantum chemistry. And I, I, run, <coughs> I study many, many subjects based on quantum chemistry. This is a uh, Fukui is a laboratory of Kyoto University. Uh, this is December. 1981, so just after his uh, Nobel Prize. So I think uh, uh, he went to Stockholm in December 1981. And uh, I'm here. I, I'm an undergraduate student. In Japanese university, undergraduate student joined laboratory. And uh, then they become master student and doctor student. In general, uh, we don't change university. We, we continue to belong to the same laboratory in general. And uh, this is newspaper reporting uh, his Nobel Prize. He is uh, the first Nobel Prize winner, uh, Japanese chemist. And this is a newspaper, very famous uh, newspaper. I'm here. <laughs> uh, the, the newspaper cut to my face. And this is uh, the night <laughs> he received. The news, news came to uh, he, him, and we visited his house to celebrate his prize. These are students. And next morning, I think uh, uh, newspaper will come to his office, and I wear necktie, <laughs> and uh, newspaper say, young people come front. So uh, this is good. And he said, this award will encourage young people. So I, I'm uh, uh, four classmates in this, uh, his uh, laboratory. So uh, four my classmates all became uh, doctors and uh, now they are working as uh, academic, in academic uh, positions. So I think his saying is true. His uh, Nobel Prize uh, encouraged me. And uh, I think this experience is very significant, significant in my academic uh, life. And he, he, he liked uh, mountain climbing. And uh, he, this is Mount Hiei, located in Kyoto, very historical mountain, not so high, uh, but uh, there is a, a very famous temple in Mount Hiei. This is 94, he, he died in 98, so uh, at that time he was very, very uh, active and nice, <clears throat> uh, but he died uh, due to the uh, stomach cancer. Uh, 
he did not notice <laughs> his uh, uh, stomach cancer. He was a very strong man, but so, so he did not uh, go to uh, uh, hospital at all. So he, do not, he did not uh, notice his stomach cancer. Uh, this is me, and this is a professor from Canada. Uh, this is Professor Yamabe who succeeded uh, uh, Professor Fukui's position. And I learned uh, uh, in, in, in their uh, laboratories. And uh, we have a collaboration with uh, Professor Hideki Shirakawa. Uh, who, who, who won the Nobel Prize uh, in chemistry in 2001. Uh, we have a collaboration with uh, conducting polymers, uh, especially polyacetylene. So he, he visited to Kyoto University and he gave a lecture. He, he is a Professor Yamabe, uh, Shimizu, and Professor Tanaka, and uh, at that time, I was a postdoctoral associate. And Professor Lord Hoffman, who shared the Nobel Prize with uh, Professor Fukui, uh, he came to Kyoto University in 93 and he gave a lecture. And, uh, <clears throat> and after that, uh, I, I, I visited uh, Cornell University in 94. I met him uh, at first time, this time. <clears throat> and uh, this is Yamabe laboratory. Uh, we enjoy cherry, cherry blossom in April uh, 94. And uh, <laughs> we drink <laughs> alcohol and uh, eat <laughs> Uh, many things. <laughs> uh, this is very good memory for me. And uh, I, I went to Cornell uh, University in uh, 94. Oh, the Ithaca is a, a very nice place located in New York State. Uh, but uh, Ithaca is uh, 400 kilometers from New York City. So this is uh, uh, located in the border with Canada. A very cold place. And Cornell University, very beautiful uh, campus. I think uh, one of the three most beautiful campus uh, in the US, I think. <clears throat> Uh, this is a uh, spring and uh, clock tower. Uh, this is Cornell University chemistry building. Very nice building, and very different from Japanese uh, chemistry laboratory. <laughs> Japanese chemistry laboratory is very cheap, <laughs> I think. Uh, Ithaca uh, is very, very cold. We went to skiing, I think minus 20 degree. So very, very cold. Uh, good. Uh, I like uh, mountain and uh, skiing. Uh, and uh, this is good memory. This is a Lord Hoffman group, uh, very small group, I think. Uh, uh, he is a professor and he is a, a, a visiting professor and others a graduate student. I, I think uh, uh, his group is less than 10 people, uh, a very small group, but very different from Japanese uh, laboratory. In Japanese laboratory, one professor, a full professor, and uh, associate professor and assistant professor and uh, many graduate students and uh, undergraduate students. So the system very different. I don't know if your system is 
like this or Japanese style? I, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, Japanese style is better for Japanese people because uh, <laughs> in the US, they, they can <laughs> write uh, papers in, in English, but in Japanese, uh, in Japan, uh, I think in one group, uh, two or three people can write uh, correct English. So I think uh, we cannot compete uh, if we have a small group, we cannot compete with, with this American university, I think. So I think large group is uh, better for Japanese people, I think. This is my wife, and uh, he invited <laughs> uh, my wife to group meeting. She's an artist, and uh, he is very strict in uh, art drawing chemical structures. So he asked my wife to teach how to draw pictures. So she, she's uh, <laughs> talking about how to draw pictures. Uh, she wear Japanese kimono. <laughs> Uh, she wanted to show <laughs> this wear, I think. And uh, he gave uh, his uh, uh, book, Chemistry Imagine. Uh, he drew many, many, he, he, he wrote many, many uh, books. Uh, so so uh, he gave uh, her this book. And when I came back to Japan, we had a home party and invite, invited group uh, members and their uh, uh, wives and friends. And uh, this is Hoffman, Professor Hoffman. This is uh, my apartment house. <clears throat> yeah. He is a very friendly person, very good person, I think. He, he gave me a, a corner necktie, and when I came back to Japan, uh, this is, I have this necktie now. I came back to Kyoto, and uh, this is Professor Yamabe, and we had New Year tea ceremony, uh, <laughs> like this. this is his secretary, and uh, this is a, a, a visiting scientist from uh, from uh, uh, which country? Uh, I forgot. Romania. Uh, yes. <clears throat> And recently, I had a famous Fujihara, Fujiwara seminar in Fukuoka. Uh, very recently, I invited Professor Lord Hoffman, and uh, <coughs> very famous professors and Japanese professors. And in this small uh, hotel, uh, we, 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 we stayed in this hotel and we had uh, this seminar and uh, this is my good uh, <coughs> memory and uh, my wife uh, published a book with uh, uh, Lord Hoffman uh, that the name is uh, Weeds the so and uh, she drew she's a painter and she drew uh, uh, the uh, he wrote this book and uh, she he, he wrote, uh, illustrated this, these pictures and uh, they published together this book. <clears throat> so my, my group studies is uh, based on quantum chemistry and uh, based on Schrodinger equation. Uh, 
we established molecular theory and we applied these theory to large scale uh, system enzyme at enzymes and uh, nanostructures and uh, quantum transport properties and uh, my work my, my work work is very wide field based on on quantum chemistry <clears throat> and my main subject is uh, methane hydroxylation supported by JST crest and uh, orbital rule for electron transport and ammonia synthesis by metal complexes. Uh, we have a collaboration with uh, Tokyo University people about uh, ammonia synthesis. And we started uh, uh, adhesion study. Adhesion is a very old uh, technique uh, but uh, the origin of adhesion is not well established. So I want to establish molecular theory for adhesion. Now I, I, I use uh, first principles calculation to establish this theory. And uh, we, we first, at first we, we did, we started this uh, study at first, I think. <clears throat> uh, recently, I published uh, a book. Uh, the name is Direct Hydroxylation Methane. And uh, Ma uh, Harris, uh, Dr. Harris, uh, contributed to two chapters of this uh, book. And this uh, Harris, uh, he, 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 he obtained his PhD degree with me at Kyushu University. He studied uh, metal exchanged zeolite for the direct conversion of methane to methanol. He did excellent, very excellent work in my group. And he published so many papers, so good. Uh, this is a uh, uh, account of chemical research and good papers. Impact factor is, I think, more than 25. And uh, the, he, he compared the, the uh, 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 copper oxygen species in enzyme and the zeolite system. This is the enzyme. Uh, in the enzyme system, uh, uh, methane is converted to methanol and also uh, methane is converted to methanol by zeolite system. The, the uh, catalytic uh, active sites are very similar in enzyme system and uh, zeolite system. So he, he wrote a uh, very nice account of chemical research paper. And he also uh, uh, did, uh, 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 he compared the uh, uh, iron, cobalt, nickel, and the copper, and the reactivity uh, changes. So uh, this was uh, uh, selected as a hot article of uh, catalysis science and technology of uh, the Royal Society of Chemistry. Now this is a paper. The, 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 this paper was selected as a hot article uh, and open access paper. This is uh, Associate Professor uh, Shiota uh, in my group. And uh, my face is back page. <laughs> Second page. <laughs> so the uh, my second topic is uh, Japanese educational system. I think uh, we are more interested in this subject. I think uh, the Japanese educational system. Uh, 
uh, the Japanese school system primarily consists of six year elementary schools and three year junior high schools and three year high school, followed by two, two or three year junior college or four year colleges. Uh, and uh, compulsory education is nine years, uh, elementary school and uh, junior high school. But 99% but, uh, uh, students go to uh, high school. And I think 50% uh, people uh, go to uh, junior college or four-year uh, university. And for, for physically or mentally challenged students, there is a system called special needs education to support special students to develop their self-reliance and enhance their social participation. So, so the six year primary uh, elementary school and uh, junior high school and high school and 99% people go to high school and four year university and uh, junior college. Yeah. And 50% of people go to uh, college or uh, university. And after university, uh, some people go to <coughs> master course of two years. Uh, and uh, most students go to companies after master course. And uh, uh, some part of people go to doctor course. Uh, four years, uh, I think this is three years. In my case, uh, uh, after master course, I, I, I entered a uh, uh, steel company, steel making company. And I worked uh, in the company for four years. And after that, I quit the company and I came back to uh, doctor course of Kyoto University. So <clears throat> this was a nice experience, uh, the uh, company uh, I worked uh, company for four years. Uh, this was very nice experience, I think, for my academic life. <clears throat> so this is academic calendar. Uh, in principle, the school year begins in April, and we just started uh, school. And in March uh, of the following year, most schools adopt three semester system with the first semester from April to August. Uh, that we have uh, summer vacation and the second semester from September to December and the third semester uh, from January to March. So we have three semesters. There is also a, a summer break from the end of July to the end of August. Uh, a winter break from the end of December to the beginning of July. And a spring break from the end of March to the beginning of April. So this is a, a academic calendar. And uh, <clears throat> most uh, Western uh, countries, uh, I think, uh, School uh, year begins in August or September, but in Japan, we, we start in April. So some people <coughs> want to change this system, uh, but it, it's very difficult to change this school system because uh, Japanese fiscal uh, year uh, start in April. So, uh, all things uh, must be changed uh, if we change the school uh, calendar. So it's very difficult to change the school calendar. We still uh, uh, begin the school in April. <clears throat> so this is a, a elementary school and uh, small student 
uh, go to uh, elementary school together, okay, uh, by walk. And uh, <laughs> they say, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and uh, they eat uh, in lunch time with a uh, uh, teacher. And uh, I think uh, the morning start uh, at eight o'clock and the first lesson start 8.30, the second, third, fourth, before lunch. In the after lunch, they have two classes. And uh, after that, they, they, they come, back, come back to school, home. <coughs> and together, again, they, uh, they uh, go home together. Uh, and it's history. <laughs> culture and uh, uh, natural scenery. Uh, Japan has long history and its culture is unlike uh, any other. In the past, Japan was heavily influenced by Chinese culture from its early modern period. Japan started welcoming Western influence, influences such as Western appeal and Western cuisine, and we, we started uh, uh, Western style uh, uh, university in 19th century. Of course, we had uh, Japanese uh, schools, uh, but we changed uh, 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 <coughs> university to uh, Western style through uh, mindfully borrowing elements from other cultures and uh, integrating them into Japanese culture, Japan has managed to reach a perfect balance. <laughs> I don't know perfect, <laughs> but uh, they say perfect balance between East and Western cultures. Japan has absorbed the best of the uh, West while simultaneously retaining its own unique Japanese culture and preserving unique Japanese concept like wabi-sabi. Wabi-sabi <laughs> is uh, uh, the combination of uh, uh, Japanese culture and Western, uh, original Japanese culture. This is Kyoto. And uh, <coughs> Japan is an island nation made up of uh, four main islands spanning across different climate zones. Its distinct season and varied uh, landscape has given rise to all sorts of beautiful natural scenery and to traditional culture. For example, when cherry trees blossom in the spring, Japanese people will host hanami, flower viewing gathering where they have uh, picnics and uh, beautiful cherry tree trees with their friends and family. But we cannot do <laughs> due to <laughs> COVID-19. <laughs> uh, the, we cannot do cherry blossom uh, viewing for two years. This is bad. <laughs> So uh, Japan has uh, four main islands. Hokkaido is very cold and uh, winter sports they, they enjoy. But in Kyushu, Kyushu uh, is a uh, uh, south island. Uh, and we have no snow. So very different season. Uh, high quality and diverse edu education. In Japan, education is greatly valued and the country ranks among the best in the world in terms of quality of education. I don't know, but they say so. Japan is dedicated to encouraging and promoting both practical learning and academic researching various fields. Whether one wants to become a scholar, a pastry chef, or even an 
アニメ、えーえー、グラフィックデザイナー、ジャパンオファーズ、オールダーラーニングリソーシーズ、ステューデントクルーポシブリーニーズ、ジャパンエデュケーショナルトラ,トラベルオファーズ、メニーオポチュニティズ、フォーステューデントトゥビジットローカルスクールズ、フォーレンステューデントウィルビーエイブルトゥインタラクトアンドメイクエクスチェンジズ、ウィズジャパニーズステューデントス、ザエイジシェアリングアイディアス、アンドゲイニンググローバルパースペクティブスオンディファレントイシューズ。リッチアンドダイバースラーニングオポチュニティ、オポチュニティス、ジャパンオファーズカン,カントレスラーニングオポチュニティズインヒストリー、カルチャーアンド Nature outside the classroom, the Japan government, Japanese government is dedicated to heritage preservation and 22 of Japan's cultural and natural sites have been uh, inscribed to,、uh, on the world heritage list. By visiting Japan, students can experience in person unique aspects of world history rather than just reading about them in textbooks. Besides its impressive array of historical sites, Japan also boasts much cutting edge technology. Japan is famous for its Uh, highly advanced industry, students will have the chance to visit factories, observe their rigorous manufacturing processes, and in some cases, even take part in hands on activity. Another thing Japan is known for its、uh, disaster prevention. Many people come to Japan to observe its. Comprehensive risk management procedure, which have a proven record of successfully、uh, mitigating damage and、uh, casualty. <coughs> Japan is safe, and、uh, Japan is one of the safest countries in the world. I think so. I, I think it's true. Japan boosts one of the lowest crime rates in the world, and its political environment is very stable. Being a developed country, Japan offers top notch health care, and the quality of this health care has been recognized by many prestigious organizations. Japan is often Uh, praised、uh, as one of the world's cleanest country. <laughs> I'm not sure. And many cities in Japan have been ranked amongst the most liable cities in the world. I think Fukuoka is very, very liable, most liable city, I think. Japan's highly developed public transit in Uh, frust-、uh, infrastructure makes it easy to get around the country. As a popular travel destination, Japan offers different kinds of accommodation at a, a variety of prices. We, you will surely be able to find one that suits you need. I think <laughs>、uh, this says nice things. <laughs> Uh, because uh, this is a、uh, uh, <coughs> Japanese government <laughs> advertisement. <laughs> so, th- th- this is, says very nice aspect, I think. But、uh, I think、uh, most of these things are true, I think. <coughs> And、uh, this is、uh, Japan's major university. So,、uh, in, before the World War II,、uh, they say imperial university. The first one is Tokyo,、uh, established in、uh, 
this is new, but uh, this first uh, Western style university in Japan. The next is Kyoto. Uh, 20 years later, Kyoto uh, University was established. Uh, I, I studied in Kyoto. <clears throat> and uh, the third one is Tohoku University. Uh, yes. <clears throat> and uh, Kyushu is the fourth oldest university established uh, 1911. And after that, Seoul University and uh, Taipei University were uh, established. Now this is uh, Seoul National University in Korea. And this is Taiwan uh, uh, University, National University in, in Taiwan. And uh, after that, uh, Osaka University, uh, 1931 and uh, Nagoya University was last 1939, just before the World War Second. So these uh, seven universities are uh, uh, Japan's major university. And uh, in the technical uh, area, Tokyo Institute of Technology is also famous university. <clears throat> This is a institution ranking the, the top uh, the University of Tokyo, I think uh, ranking 58, depend on the uh, <laughs> ranking system. The Kyoto is second, and the third one is Osaka, Tohoku, Kyushu and uh, Nagoya and Hokkaido University and Tokyo Institute of Technology. And this is Keio University, is a private university. University of Tsukuba and other university is a national university. Only Keio University is a private university. Also, uh, uh, Waseda University is a famous private university. This is a QS ranking. We are very interested <laughs> in this ranking. Uh, I'm, I'm not <laughs> interested, but uh, this is also the University of Tokyo, Kyoto University. In this ranking, Tokyo Institute of T Technology is very excellent. The next is Osaka, Tohoku, Nagoya, Hokkaido. Kyushu is here. The Waseda University, the private university, and the Keio University. So I think you, you, you made the best effort to increase the ranking of your university. And also Kyushu University people want to increase the ranking of this. Yeah. <clears throat> They, they made the best effort, but uh, <laughs> I'm not interested in, in this ranking. So uh, next talk is uh, Japanese translation culture. I, I think this is very important for the uh, Japanese education, I think. Uh, we translate uh, English books and other German books to Japanese version. So children can touch uh, the Western culture from this translation book, books. This is uh, uh, Grimm's uh, in Germany. And this is the original book. This is Japanese version. So Japanese children uh, can look at this kind of uh, Western books. So you, you know, the, I think this is very, very nice uh, culture. Uh, one of the best cultures uh, in Japan. <laughs> And this is uh, Michael 
Faraday's uh, the, uh, the chemical history of a candle. Uh, this is uh, translated by Japanese version. And uh, Professor Yoshizawa, I'm yeah. very sorry to remind you that your time is 50 minutes. <laughs> sorry. You have 50 minutes. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. So, so this is also so many Japanese version textbook. This is Atkins physical chemistry. The, the, the here is a Japanese version. So Japanese undergraduate student uh, learn physical chemistry by uh, Japanese versions book textbook. So so many Japanese version textbook. So this is a, a organic chemistry book, Morrison Boyd, and this is Japanese version. And not only textbooks, but also specialized books. This is intermolecular surface forces. And this is also translated to Japanese version. So, <clears throat> so the last one, a Japanese laboratory system, and these uh, uh, Japan's Nobel Prize winners, uh, I think uh, 27 people received the Nobel Prize. And uh, this is a physics Nobel Prize. Uh, the first one, Hideki Yukawa. Uh, these people are chemists, but they uh, received the Nobel Prize in physics to develop blue, blue color LED. And this is Nobel Prize in chemistry. Kenichi Fukui is the first one. And Hideki Shirakawa is the second person. <clears throat> and drive in the lab. And uh, uh, as I tell, uh, this is uh, taken from the Tokyo Institute of Technology. Fourth year undergraduate students join the laboratory of the academic advisor and conduct research toward preparing their bachelor's degree thesis. And they, uh, uh, they, they don't change, uh, we don't change universities for master course and uh, doctor course in general. And uh, this is uh, uh, the style of, uh, uh, we have no time and uh, uh, laboratories are made up of five to 20 members. The greatest advantage of studying in the laboratory is the closeness with your academic supervisors, professor or associate professor, and the interaction with uh, 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 all the students. I think that's very important. The <laughs> laboratory is your home. <laughs> This is not joking. <laughs> and uh, the Harris, Harris San received his PhD degree at Kyushu University with name. He is very proud of his studies and uh, theoretical study of methane oxidation to methanol catalyzed by methanol, methane, met metal exchange to xeroid. <clears throat> After his uh, defense, we, we take uh, we took pictures, and uh, this is congratulations, Harisan. <coughs> Good job, you are the right master. I I, I gave him <laughs> uh, this uh, doctor's hat, <laughs> and uh, this is his wife. Uh, she is very pretty. And I think uh, she can join JKT 48. <laughs> I, I think I, I told her. <laughs> and this is party. 
and uh, we joined uh, this kind of food. I think uh, this is these are halal uh, foods. And this is halal alcohol. <laughs> and I, I, I want to talk about the university system, uh, laboratory system or Japanese system and the US system. This is Fukui Laboratory, Kyoto University, the Professor Fukui. And he has uh, two associate professors, uh, Yamabe and Shimizu, and one assistant professor. And uh, she had, she had, uh, he had two secretaries and we are undergraduate students like this. And as a, a, a graduate student, I think Japanese laboratory is big and uh, full professor has uh, uh, associate professor and assistant professor and uh, graduate student and undergraduate student. And the Hoffman group is very different. Uh, he, he is, of course, full professor, but uh, no staffs in his laboratory. Uh, I, I was visiting scientist and uh, he is a visiting scientist from Russia. And these people are graduate students. So very small, but uh, I think to compete the US uh, groups, we, we need this kind of big group, I think, because I, I said, uh, most people cannot uh, <coughs> write uh, papers in English well, so we, we need this kind of big group. So finally, I, I'd like to uh, introduce my group. I'm here and uh, this is associate professor and assistant professor and postdoctoral people and uh, postdoctoral people is three postdoctoral and technical staffs who, who don't have a doctor's degree, but they are very excellent. And undergraduate student, four undergraduate student, and other people are graduate student. So <laughs> this is my <laughs> Japanese <laughs> Uh, culture uh, based on my experience. Uh, I'm not sure my talk is useful for you <laughs> or not. Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming uh, to my talk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Professor Yoshizawa, for your detail and clear presentations. Yes. regarding your experience in research and also for sharing with us the Japanese culture in research. Um, you mentioned that in Japanese system, mm -hmm. undergraduate students already joined the laboratory since their early careers as a researcher. Mm -hmm. So after they entered the fourth years of the undergraduate degree, they can join the laboratory. Uh, so they become the members of large or uh, big uh, uh, laboratories uh, members. Um, and most of the student- Fourth year student. Fourth year, yeah. Fourth year student. Uh, Fourth year student. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And they become a members of laboratory until they finish the undergraduate or master or even doctoral degrees. So oh, yeah. most of them stay in laboratory for about six years. Six years, yes. Okay, uh, let me invite uh, questions. So um, if you have any questions, please just raise your hands. Um, uh, actually, there is, there, there is, uh, they already won questions. Uh, let me invite Payuli. Payuli, 
um, please open your mics. And uh, yes, Payuli, please. Yeah, thank you for the good opportunity. Good afternoon, Professor uh, Yoshizawa. Thank you for your nice presentation. Uh, I am graduated from Kobe University in Kobe. Kobe. And then I, I saw, as you said, that the fourth grade student, undergraduate, uh, already joined in the laboratory. Mm. I saw that the first six months mm. of the undergraduate student in laboratory, they only focus on the study to pass, to enter the master course, to prepare the master course and then, trans examination. Yes, yes. And then the second six months, mm. they intensively work in the laboratory, mm. begin from the morning until sometimes uh, night time, etc. And in my opinion, actually, the, the system in Indonesia and in Japan is not so different, I think, from the education system, from the elementary, junior, high school, and university system, and also how we work in laboratory also actually similar. Mm. But I saw a difference about the character, about the discipline, about the teamwork of Japanese students. Mm. I saw mm. that the motivation, the spirit, the discipline, the teamwork, I think is better for the Japanese student compared to averaging Indonesian student. So actually, during my stay in Japan, I always want to look for how the family of Japan, how the environment, the society uh, educate the student. So they have uh, such a strong character, discipline, motivated, hard work, teamwork. So could you please explain a little bit about what is the recipe of the family, of the society, to produce a such kind of a strong character of student. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think uh, uh, <laughs> Japanese students uh, are not so <laughs> hard workers, I think. I think uh, Japanese entrance uh, examination university, good, good university, very, very hard, I think. So after entering university, students do not work hard, I think. After entering university, they pray. <laughs> and uh, uh, I think uh, in science and technology students, uh, they start uh, uh, study in fourth year students. Before that, they, they don't work, uh, they don't work hard, I, I think. So, so <clears throat> and uh, students do not change university uh, when going to uh, graduate uh, school. So, so in the Indonesian university, the same? My question is uh, Indonesian students change universities when entering graduate school. Um, most of us, we don't change the university. Oh, you don't change, oh, the same. Mm. Oh, I see. Mm. Oh, right in some cases. Okay, uh, thank you, Professor, for your uh, uh, answer to uh, questions from Payuli. So let me invite the second questions from Ibu Sri Haryanti. 
uh, ibu uh, please open thank your you. mic okay yeah. thank you pak irwan thank you professor uh, uh, i was wondering uh, how how do you keep your your big group because i noticed uh, you mentioned i think uh, at least uh, two three times that uh, the big group is uh, one of uh, the key success of your uh, lab or your research group. And I just wondering how you keep your lab uh, interesting for, for new members. Mm -hmm. And uh, secondly, uh, to what extent the role of your team members in uh, generating grants uh, for the, the lab research? <clears throat> Thank you, Professor. Okay, okay. So, uh, I think undergraduate student pay uh, their pay their pay parents pay <laughs> their the school and uh, I pay a salary to these postdoctoral and technical staff secretary uh, people. That, that supported by uh, uh, these uh, financial support. So we need uh, uh, big financial support to keep uh, this kind of group, I think. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, we, we apply, I apply big, uh, <laughs> project. Uh, so that's uh, one of my uh, work, I think. <clears throat> mm. And uh, I, I am uh, uh, combined experiment and theory person. So I have an idea uh, what to do. So I, I, I tell them what to do by using computational chemistry. And uh, this is my, my, my work too. So <laughs> is this okay? Yeah, thank you, Professor. Thank you for your uh, answer, uh, uh, Professor Yoshizawa. Uh, and uh, I would like to continue the question. So, uh, so each labs uh, gets the funding from uni from the university. But aside from uh, the funding directly uh, uh, obtained from the university, you need to find a research grant. For example, from Kakenki or GSPS. Yes, yes. And the size of the lab is depends uh, how big the money that you can get mm -hmm. from the research funding. Is that correct, Professor? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Especially, uh, we have no postdoctoral people when, when we have no fund. That's very important to have postdoctoral people so so university do not support uh, these uh, uh, funding to hire postdoctoral people so uh, i think uh, uh, we we can have graduate students but uh, we don't have we cannot have postdoctoral uh, associate without uh, big money, big funding support, I think. Okay, so the job of professor is finding, try <laughs> to find a big funding. <laughs> That's a part of uh, our jobs, I think. Wow, well, it's very hard and difficult job. Okay, let me invite the next questions from Ibu Sri Mariati. Ibu, please. Yeah, thank you, uh, Pak Irwan. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Yoshizawa, for your uh, very interesting sharing. I have uh, two questions. Uh, 
uh, oh. the first one is uh, related to the culture uh, actually maybe it's related to the question uh, for uh, with the first question it's a uh, you mentioned about uh, lab in uh, Japanese lab and also the lab in the US. Uh, mm. I mean that you and you maybe have also experience in the lab mm. in Indonesia. Uh, mm. In your opinion, uh, uh, is the culture uh, influence the the output yeah, of uh, the research yeah, or or the outcome of the research? Mm. Uh, so this is the relationship between culture and the uh, out, out, outcome or output of the research. And then uh, the second question uh, seems that the lab in uh, in Japanese lab uh, it's uh, very independent. So uh, my question is related to the how you uh, motivate the member of the lab to uh, produce the publica publication because this is uh, in uh, our faculty in. Uh, School of Architecture, uh, uh, Planning and Policy Development. This is uh, uh, this is a problem. How to encourage uh, the member to uh, produce uh, the uh, qualified uh, publication? Mm. Yeah, thank you, Professor. Uh, I see. So the, your first question is uh, 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 Japanese laboratory and uh, the U.S. laboratory. I think. Uh, uh, how is uh, your laboratory? You have one one professor in, in one group. Yeah, in uh, we have uh, especially in uh, in my faculty in the School of Architecture, Planning, and Policy Department, we uh, we have a research group. But uh, it's not uh, necessary uh, necessarily that one research group have one uh, professor. Oh. Yeah, mm. it's not always. Mm. I think yeah. In Japan, uh, some people uh, want to separate big laboratories to independent professor. Uh, professor, assistant, professor, and associate professor. Some people want to separate these uh, uh, big group to small groups. But uh, I think uh, such small group uh, are not successful, I, I think, because uh, these young undergraduate students uh, do not write English at all. So these uh, uh, young uh, uh, professors uh, support uh, them to write papers in English. So uh, uh, if uh, my group is separated to small groups, I think such a system will not work at all, I think. So uh, in Japan, I think uh, a big group, big group are necessary, <laughs> I think. Mm. How do you think? <laughs> so you mean that one group maybe can support uh, uh, another group, yeah? If, if uh, one group cannot achieve the, mm. the target, the, the targeted output. Mm. Some some kind of <laughs> uh, working together, but in the different group, and then uh, apply the uh, mm. one group uh, to help uh, another group. Mm. Yes. And uh, your second question is uh, uh, motivation to to publish papers. Yes, uh, but we yeah. encourage. Uh, I think uh, some people have mo motivation, <laughs> but other people <laughs> do not have motivation to publish papers. So <laughs> I think uh, in, in a big group, some people write many papers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so I think that's. Uh, <clears throat> 
Mm, important. If uh, I cannot uh, have many papers, I cannot uh, take financial support. So we we need to continue uh, uh, high productivity. So uh, we have many collaborations uh, with experimental people. We publish uh, 20 to 30 papers uh, in a year, I think. I think uh, most of the papers are uh, uh, ACS journals, good, paper, good journals, uh, I think. And uh, <clears throat> it's important to uh, publish many papers uh, with uh, these young people for me. Yeah. It's OK. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Uh, yeah, thank you, professor. Thank you, Ibusari, for your questions. And thank you for the answer. Uh, let me continue the questions, uh, professors. If you publish more papers, does it mean that your salary become higher? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> OK. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. When, when I get uh, very big financial support, we will become a, a, a high ranked professor. Okay. But your salary is still the same, right? Yeah, I, I think uh, a little bit <laughs> increase, maybe 10%. Oh, so okay. Most professors' salaries are the same, I think. Mm. Okay, thank you. So that salary is not uh, our motivation, I think. I That's think a good point. Chinese professor, uh, maybe uh, have motivation for salary? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's very good point. Salary is not motivation for not, publishing papers. Not motivation for us, I see. OK, thank you. Let, let's move to the next questions from pa Granpik. Pa Granpik, are you prefer to open your mic, or I can just read your questions? OK, uh, it seems that he has problem with his mic. So the questions from Pa Granfik is, uh, thank you, Professor Isizawa, for your excellent talk. Do you apply minimum target number of publications, journal level, for individuals member of your labs? If so, how do you motivate them to achieve their targets? So do you put, so do you apply minimum numbers of publications and to which journals for each member of your laboratory? I think, uh, uh, I think uh, master students have uh, two or three papers for three years, undergraduate one year and master course two years. So for three years, uh, uh, master course student uh, have two or three papers. And uh, excellent doctor course student, uh, just like Harris, they have more than five papers, I think. Wow, that's, that's very difficult, very challenging. <laughs> for good, in good journal. Very good job. Five papers, five published papers in three years. Oh, that's very challenging. Yeah, he did. How, how, <laughs> how, to, how to motivate them to, to achieve the targets, Professor? Motivate? Well, mm, I don't know. Their salaries are the same. So, so, so. Salary is the same, right? 
サラリーズノットゼアモチベーションそうん。some people do not publish paper あと some people some students so motivation are different depend on the student、uh, mm. maybe is it is it、uh, related with the possibility of having a good positions after they finish their degree so if they publish more they can、uh, stay in kyushu as an assistant professor or、uh, they can go to good company、yes. or research center i will write good Recommend, recommendation letter <laughs> to excellent students. <laughs> uh, that's, that's very good motivation. If <laughs> so, they, they can uh, enter uh, good companies.、And、okay. I, re- I recommend、uh, student uh, 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 for, for the company, good companies. Ah.、Uh. Okay, understand. This recommendation letter from professor is very important for job hunting. For, to enter good, good companies,、uh, good recommendation letter is very important. I understand. It's very good to say. Thank you very much. Uh, let me continue to the last questions.、Uh, oh, not the last one. Let me continue to Ibu Rector, Ibu,、uh, Ibu Professor Reni.、Uh, Ibu, could you please、uh, open your mic or, or、oh, let me write? Okay. 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 Thank you, Pak Irwan. Uh, uh, Yushizawa, I have a,、yes. one quick question. It seems like、uh, In that picture,、uh, so、one laboratory consists of so many、uh, students and uh, other uh, full time faculty, but there's only one full professor, which is yourself. So、yeah. it is always like that one laboratory, one professor. So, what happens if one of your two associate professors、uh, g e t promoted for? for Full professorship.、Mm. After that, is he、mm. supposed to get out of your lab and then he's supposed to build a new one for himself?、Uh, so please,、uh, because at ITB, we would like to、uh, promote、uh, as many、uh, full p r o f e s s o r as、yes. possible if they are uh, mm. really uh, feasible. I mean, they're, they're very good. So we, we would like to maintain. A good ratio number of、uh, full p r o f e s s o r and and now we would like to have them younger, yeah, like professor,、uh, like Dr. Irwan Melano here. He's eager to be a full professor pretty soon because he, for our standard, of course, different standard, yeah, full professorship、uh, in、uh, Japanese university in Indonesia. We don't necessarily need to publish like. Many, many、uh, publications. I mean, we have different s e t of standards, but very good s t a n d a r d So please uh, uh, enlighten us、uh, about that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I retire, my position is open. So, in all the times, this guy <laughs>、uh, becomes next professor. In all, the, all, in all the days. And this assistant professor goes to associate professor. So that's all the style of Japanese laboratory. But recently, and、uh, after my retirement, he h a v e to compete as a candidate professor. If he, is, he succeeded, He is su- successful in, high, uh, 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 in this uh, competition. He will become uh, uh, full professor. So, so I think, uh, uh, in general,、uh, he has to compete as a candidate from other universities. So, th- this is new style, I think. 
Okay. Thank you. So, uh, how many mm. uh, full professor at Kyushu um, Chemical Engineering mm. uh, area, for example? How many are they? Uh, we have a, a chemistry laboratories in Department of Chemistry, uh -huh. Department of Applied Chemistry, yeah. and uh, Institute of uh, in in our institute, so chemistry professors uh, uh, maybe uh, fifty. So 50. the percentage is uh, how much? Like ten percent, maybe, of the full time faculty. Mm, less. Less than ten percent. Less. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So at IPTB we have around. 10, 12 percent uh, full professor compared to uh, the whole uh, faculty uh, uh, body. Yeah, thank you, Bapa. Eh, thank you, Professor Yasizawa. Uh, thank you very much. Ah, uh, thank you for your uh, explanations, Professor Yasizawa. So, if one associate professor would like to become, would like to be a professor earlier than your retirement. So mm -hmm. he or she needs to move to another yes. university. Is that correct, Sensei? Yes. yes. OK. And is it acceptable or, or no, is it common okay. in Japanese okay. system? It's OK. OK. Good associate professor will move to uh, other university as a, a full professor, of course. OK. Hmm. Uh, okay, L uh, we still have time. Uh, the time given to me is until 3 p.m. I hope you are okay with the time. 3 p.m. means 5 p.m. in Japanese. Mm. And in mm. Kyushu, but I believe Kyushu is not uh, very cold right now. The cherry blossom period is already over a few weeks ago, yeah, Sensei? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me continue to the Next questions, the questions from Professor Tata. Uh, Patata, please would like to would like to open the mic or let me read <coughs> your Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Welcome. Professor Yoshizawa. Uh, nowadays uh, some researcher thinks that uh, H H index or uh, number of paper they publish uh, in Q1 journals is uh, become the the main uh, target. Mm. So they will do whatever they can mm. to be able to publish. So the the result of research not not uh, not the the out the output of the research is not the impact to the society or advancement of science, but instead is how many papers or how many H uh, index they have. The previously it was the the way to to see whether um, the research has a good impact or not, but now it is become the main. <laughs> Uh, target for the researcher. Uh, sometime even some researcher conduct um, some, I can say, a bit uh, unethical behavior. For example, they will ask their friend to, to refer to their paper and he uh, in return will refer uh, his friend paper uh, although it is not really uh, related to uh, their uh, research. So what do you see uh, about this uh, phenomena? And I think it happened in, in, in many ways, in, in many places as well. Thank you very much. Mm. <clears throat> in, in, my, in my field of chemistry, quantum chemistry, uh, people are not so many, so the uh, 
citation numbers, uh, not so many, I think. So oh, I don't care <laughs> H index. Uh, some people um, is very um, care uh, about uh, H index, but I don't care in principle. Mm. But uh, university people, university people I mean is uh, president and uh, they are surround, they, are, they? <laughs> they, they care, but uh, each uh, researcher should not uh, care about uh, H index. Mm. Uh, I think that depends on field. So I think uh, mm, don't care about H index. Student, uh, a professor as, uh, uh, are not uh, uh, <coughs> Uh, professors are not uh, uh, promoted by a judging H index, I think. Thank you. Very good information. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions? Mm. No, uh, thank you very much, uh, Pak Irwan. So I think uh, we need to think about the, this kind of culture of good research, not only the metrics of H index and citation, <laughs> number of citation, number of papers maybe, but uh, the, res the research and the, the impact maybe. Is it correct? Uh, Professor. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, some some people are mm. some people are very, very, very uh, <clears throat> mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Ibu Reni, do you have any additional comments regarding this topic, <laughs> the H index? Yeah, yeah. But uh, of course, uh, every university would like to have great impacts on our nation and humanity, if possible, Nobel Prize. But impacts also should be the um, uh, the uh, uh, measure. So measure. Yeah. The impact is uh, should be uh, should also be, be measured. Of course, the impact is very complicated. There are so many factors got into uh, one uh, impact, not just because. Uh, one paper or uh, a group of students, but the impact of the university probably that is what you are uh, more concerned. Yeah, as a uh, as a researcher or as a scholar, all of us as uh, as scholars, as scientists, we are very concerned about the university's reputation overall, and. Um, uh, local reputation, national reputation, but um, yeah, that is more important, but uh, we in the management, uh, like you said, of course, uh, in Japanese universities, they also uh, try, their, try their best to improve their rankings, but uh, for ITB, of course, we are part of the international community. We, we, we have to respond to that ranking system to some extent, but we also agree with you 
that we are not going to put all of our effort in in that uh, uh, goal. We would like to have a great impact like what uh, you do in your laboratory. Uh, from this picture, it speaks a lot. Yeah, it, it, it speaks a lot that uh, one professor trying to um, uh, train students yeah, uh, in a very close uh, knit group of scholars, uh, this definitely will give great impact to uh, uh, the whole university and uh, our nation. Uh, thank you, Pa Yozizawa. Thank you, Ibu Rector, for your additional comments. Uh, let me invite Professor Andri. Uh, do you have any questions, Pa Andri? Please. Okay, thank you, Pa Irwan. Thank you, Pa Irwan Sang. I am Andri Dianugraha. I graduated from Kyoto University. Same with you. Mm. I am from Uji Campus almost mm. 10 years ago. Mm. So I have a three question. Mm. Kyoto Daigaku Kara, Sensei. Thank you. Okay. First is uh, what are the criteria for becoming a professor, associate professor, and assistant professor in Japan? Second, what is the minimum uh, publication for PhD student to graduate in, in Japan, especially in your laboratory? And the third question is, how long do students work in lab, especially in your laboratory? I think that's all. Thank you. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Yeah, that's <laughs> Your first question is, uh, um, your first question is to become a associate to become professor, professor. How many publications or what is the requirement? Assistant, assistant. What are the criteria or requirement for becoming a professor, associate professor, and assistant professor in Japan? For assistant professor, I think 10 papers. And associate professor, 30 to 40. <laughs> I don't know. In general, for professor, 100. Oh, Shibarashi. <laughs> I don't I don't know. <laughs> that depend on, <laughs> depend on the quality of papers. Yeah. I don't know, but <laughs> this is in general. <laughs> but so the second question is, uh, how many publications? Yes, for PhD student to PhD. graduate. PhD student uh, minimum uh, number is two. Okay. Two publications. I, but in my time, I think 10 papers are necessary. <laughs> so many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, most, uh, most PhD uh, course students publish uh, five papers, I think, um, in, my, in my group. Mm. And the third question? Yes, the last question. What? How long do, how long do students work in laboratory? How long? Wow. Yeah. In the in the in the last year, <laughs> yeah, they, reason, they, recently they didn't come to Labo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before before uh, pandemic COVID nineteen, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't come at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So my publication went down. <laughs> ah, I see. Also, I think. Uh, uh, Japanese student come to lab very late, I think 10 o'clock. Hi. In the night. <laughs> In the morning. <laughs> and uh, uh, go back six o'clock, seven o'clock, de depend on student, I think. I see, okay. Because uh, we are computational group. In computational group, they don't work at <laughs> 
for many for, for, for a long time. Yeah. I think uh, experimental group they work for longer time. I think. Okay. Thank you, Yoshijawa Sensei. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. You are, you are now in Kyoto. At ITB, close to Burector oh. Building. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You you graduated. Yeah, I, I graduated PhD at Kyoto University in 2009, oh. almost 10 years ago. Mm. Yeah, in uh, DPRI uh, Institute in Uji Campus. Oh, mm. I see. Mm. Okay. okay, thank you, Prof. Andri, and uh, thank you for the answer. Uh, let me invite the next questions from Patirto Prakoso. Patirto? Uh, Please open the mics, or may I read your questions? Yes, thank ah, you. Please, Pak. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Tito Prakoso. I'm also very enthusiastic uh, cycling, cyclist. Yeah, same as you. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. If I uh, will come to uh, Kyushu, I will bring my uh, my cycle, and we can read right together, yeah? <laughs> okay, I have uh, just uh, one question, but I think already uh, answered. Yeah, you said that you are not interested in university ranking. Uh, uh, why? 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 And how important? How important is it? Yeah, uh, uh, in your idea, yeah, is it very important or just? Uh, Another playing ground of universities in the world. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Uh, sensei, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm just a researcher, so <laughs> <laughs> the university whole whole university ranking. I'm not interested in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, is it important or not, uh, Sensei? What do you think about that? Yeah. If uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was graduated from Keio University. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yes. So Yeah, this ranking, Kyushu is good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not, not so good. So, so <laughs> I like <Not> this. Really. <laughs> 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 okay, thank my you feeling, so much. Huh? Just like, I'm, my feeling is just like this. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care about the, the university ranking. <laughs> Oke, okay, oke. Okay. Thank you so much, Sensei. Itu saja, Pak Irwan. Singkat dan uh, cepat juga. Terima kasih. Terima kasih, uh, Pak Tirto. Thank you. We still have seven minutes. Uh, let me invite, uh, hopefully this one will be the last question. From Ibu oh, Pak Dwi Wahyu. Pak Dwi Wahyu, please. Pak Dwi. Rasa Songko, please. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pak Irwan. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. Yoshikawa Sensei, <clears throat> thank you very much for having the opportunity to raise a question. My question is not directly related to your group, actually, because my question is uh, related with aggregation. So what is uh, your opinion about aggregation at your university, especially in Japan? And does it give significant impacts to the quality of education and research at your university? Thank you. I'm sorry. <clears throat> the, my question is related with uh, quality assurance, the ag aggregation. So, what is your opinion about aggregation in higher e education in Japan? And the second one is that how <clears throat> uh, does it significant? Does it give significant impacts to the quality of education and research at your university? Mm. 
understand that in Japan, aggregation is not compulsory, but in our country, it's compulsory. In your country, it's voluntary, if I'm not mistaken. You, you, you say the aggre aggregation? Aggregation. Aggregation. Uh, can, you, you can see the accreditation. Accreditation. Uh, quality assurance. Bahasa Jepangnya apa tuh? Pati yeah. Ko, akreditasi. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't understand in Japanese language. So please. Translate, please. Patirto. <laughs> uh, like in Japan, in engineering, you know Jabi, Japan Accreditation Board for Engineering Education. Nintai, nintai, nintai na koto desu. What is that in <clears throat> Japan script? I, I, I didn't hear. Okay, it's okay. Uh, sensei, nintai no koto desu, nintai. Accreditation, accreditation. Say again. Nintei, nintei. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. I know what is Japanese for accreditation as well. I'm not saying I'm not sure. なんかに、認定委員会とわかりますかね。大学の認定。あ、いや。ね、認定委員。やばいね、テスバサジャパンね。いや、ジャパンね。ちょっと難しいジャパンね。ちょっと難しいジャパンね。ちょっと難しいジ
I'm 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 very sorry that the sound of the speaker is so loud outside my room, so I cannot hear your conversations. Yeah, udah pak. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I hope this one will be the last questions. The questions from Ibu Rahmanisa. Uh, she like to ask about supervising method that you apply to your lab members. How do you set their research target? And it means that how or who define the research targets? Uh, you as a head of the laboratory, or you define the research target together with the associate and assistant professor in your laboratory. And do you do you give a special time for each member to discuss with you? Uh, for example, do you have a regular meeting with your students, let's say weekly seminar or uh, two times a week uh, uh, discussions. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, this sensei two questions from Ibu Rahmanisa. Okay, okay. We, we have a, a, a group group meeting one time uh, a week. One time a week group meeting. And I also uh, uh, talk to uh, each student uh, when, when I have time. I, I talk to uh, student directly. Uh, and, uh, and how about the rule of associate and assistant professor? So uh, they also supervise students directly or? Yes, yes, of course. They teach how to do for students, each student, I think. Each student uh, has uh, one subject and uh, uh, assistant and associate professor uh, 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 teach them how to do. Uh, their, their work. So uh, sometimes uh, I, I talk to students directly uh, when I have time. And we, we have, uh, <coughs> now we have online group meeting one time a week. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you for your explanations. And I think uh, since uh, now already 3 p.m. in Indonesia, 5 p.m. in Kyushu, so we need to finish our discussions. Uh, thank you, Professor uh, Yoshizawa, on behalf of the uh, committee, uh, we will. Uh, I would like to thanks uh, and give your high, and give the higher, highest appreciations for you for spending your valuable uh, afternoon with us uh, and sharing uh, very important topics related with the research culture in Japan and uh, your input during the discussions. Uh, uh, are very important for us to build a very strong uh, research culture in ITB. Uh, again, uh, thank you, and and also for the uh, for all the participants. Thank you for your patience and your contributions for uh, during the discussions. Uh, again, thank you. Uh, selamat sore. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye, everyone. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor. Thank you very much. Terima kasih yang sudah hadir. Foto bersama Professor. Foto, foto. Foto, ya, Bruni. Foto. Oh, okay, sorry. Let's take a group photo. Let's let's take. Please open your camera. Please. Sudah live, Pak. Itunya Pak Irwan. Hah? Pak Yosis awalnya sudah live. Ada. Oh no, no. Ada. Ada. masih ya. Oh, masih. Masih. Please, please stay with us, Sensei. Please stay with us. We are going to take a group photo. Yes, Pak Dini yes. will lead us. Oke. Okay. Foto Hai.
Pak Yanto siap ya? Siapa? Sila, silakan dihitung Pak. Enggak. Satu, dua, tiga. Satu, dua, tiga. Sudah Pak? Sudah, wah baik. Bye. Oke, okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. 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 Terima Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for the nice talk. You have you have here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>